dropping the ball. All the memories of us having a ball. Wait, let me get your dog. Though I don't get paid to be a sim for this girl. What it do, what it does, YouTube, and welcome back to yet another episode. Now, have I'm fucking with them more? Gang, you know who it is. If you are a returning subscriber, I just want to let you know how much of a gorgeous, gorgeous, wholesome you are. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure to hit that red button and when you hit that, don't forget to hit that notification bell. Anyway, as you can see by the title of the video, okay, we're having a recap, a review of this very, very hot, hot reality TV show called Young, Famous, and Rich. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. No ways. Young, Young. Famous and African. Y F A. Yeah, that's the abbreviation. Yeah, hey. So, <laughs> without any rambling, I know. I know. Wait, I know I've been gone for long, but I'm back, and I'm back with a banger. Anyway, I I feel like I should have shot this video right after finishing the the, the series because yeah a lot happened a lot happened and I'll try my best to remember everything and talk about every everything. All right, show. Sure. One thing about me, I love me a good reality TV show. Okay, talk about what I'm a, I'm an addict. I'm a fanatic for reality TV show. Talk about the Kardashians. I'm even watching them on Hulu. Okay, well I'm not paying for Hulu, but hmm, whatever. Um, Kardashians. Talk about have faith. Talk about being bonang. Talk about Kanye Reloaded. Talk about like, fake it till you make it, like especially the South African ones. Not nah, that I love drama. Go drama thing. That is me, okay? Anyway, this particular one called Young Famous and African, I resonate with it so much because of how inspirational it is. These people are rich, rich, okay? Looking at their outfits and everything, okay, besides just that, we know these people are rich, and it's always inspiring to see, you know, a young African, some someone of your same color making it out there driving these expensive expensive cars because did you guys see zara has a g-wagon and it's a brava's g-wagon zara has a no zari sorry 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 zari hassan yeah zari zari drives a brava's guys a brava's g-wagon not any brava's a brava's g-wagon <laughs> just to introduce the characters to you guys who haven't watched young famous and african I know, man, but go and watch it first before you come and watch it because uh, let's just dive into everything, okay? My first, my, my overall view of it is that it was very orchestrated. Like, season one, you could tell people from their individual characters and how they blend in, how they actually are friends, what brought them together, right? Besides just it being the money and the fame, you could see that these people are genuine friends, they care about each other, right? Come season two. Ah! Season two, I feel like. It was just so much of drama, 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 drama. Hey, wait, hey, wait. Uh, guys, I got so mad. Every time someone would just come and sit in the table or it's three friends. So what's going on with you and this, this, this? What's going on with you and Swank Swanky? What's going on with you and Andy? Like, it was as if each friend is just trying to provoke everyone because do, do you know they have drama? Just keep it to yourself. Don't provoke them. Why are you... It annoyed me so much. There's a part where Kylie, guys, imagine I'm even butchering the name. That's how long I've watched. That when it came out that Friday, I finished it. Okay, I don't know why I didn't make this video earlier, but I finished it then. Hey, okay, let's talk about to to begin with the first episode. Okay, the first episode, one scene I loved. Okay, was when Nick had brought in Fantana, and. Fantana came through. I mean, she had a nice looking thick girl, Ghanaian, with that American accent because she grew up in America. Okay. And she's making money from her music. Hella, hella. It's just that I don't know her. Like, I mean, if you're going to be an African top person on that TV show, like, you should know you. I mean, you should be a Debbie Deba. Uh, uh, let, let, let me just give it to her. Sure. Give her the benefit of the doubt. Ah, yeah. What's Anna Fantana? Jiggy Jiggy Kylie's like. Why is Naked bringing another female friend of his and I don't even know about it. They're even holding hands as they come. Oh my god, I was like, this is what I've been waiting for. This is season two and this is what I've been waiting for, yeah? I bet Fantana comes to the crew um, and it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's nice. But off the start, Gimang, Swanky and Annie seem to have a very big kind of problem, which I feel like, ish. 
it's been going on for too long and no one knew about it but it was just beef from the banter you know what i mean hey hi okay, guys so okay i forget to mention that i was really excited to see bonan being on the show because damn i look up to that woman man like be or nothing tata forever yena for me personally until i watched this and i was like girl you can be like this is this a shade of you that we really never knew about what i do you yes, i'm a, i am can you imagine young. fresh from a desert when i come to the women about the, the the activities of the vaginas if you want to see putting me living tomorrow it will be fine i don't Which want society? to be attached to um some sex scandal or some sex scandal that is Anyway, so ah, fine. The show goes on. Fantana Diamond go out on a date at the studio, and you can just see her. Hmm. These guys are just up to something. These guys are up to just. Hmm. You can just see that there is some chemistry in the room, but Diamond being Diamond, every new girl he has to go for. Which is like, eh, that's diamond for you. What can we say? That's diamond for you. I get. I get. We are trying to. We see people from the second episode. We just try, We just see people unveil themselves and present the their most. Should I say toxic? But their most fake side of themselves. I feel like out of everyone, Nadia was the most neutral person. But in the beginning, she was that person that tri- that kept on going. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I be cool. Fantana comes through. Diamond likes her. They go out on a date at the studio. I mean, okay. At first, it looks like <laughs> it's some business, but it came up with some pleasure. It came up with some pleasures, but you could tell the chemistry between the two. Me, like Diamond being Diamond, we knew from the get go the type of person he is. So, ah, I don't know what can we say. But anyway, the girl seemed like she, she, she was a player and she knew what she was doing, right? But. Fine, go out on a date and stuff like that. I get. As the show goes on, Annie again, Annie, 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 Annie. Huh? Does Annie doesn't listen? First of all, what do you mean that the firstborn of your lover, your first love when you were sixteen, firstborn, the firstborn that you guys had with that first lover of yours is his sixthborn. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. I beg, because any like these 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 guys have been together when Annie was sixteen. That was her first love, her first boyfriend, her first everything. And she also mentioned that. <coughs> oh, sorry. She also mentioned that that was the man that deflowered her. You get what I mean? So for her, that man is so precious. Hmm? There is no other man but two Baba for Annie, and it's not healthy. It's not good for her, and she's not realizing that. That was what hurts me the most. Para, what do you mean that man had one, two, three, four, five, 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 five children out of marriage with this woman who was her first love from sixteen, and then her firstborn with him is her sixth. Is he six? Anyway, Marcus or Jajamu, I mean, if she has forgiven him and they moved on through it, they're living a happy marriage. It's good. Mara, where the other room, where rumors come up again, and then you have to be an eighth child out of marriage. Okay, Harakane, it's fine. It's from 2014. But my thing is with two baba bro, where there's smoke, there's fire. Where, why are these things coming up? Where are these allegations coming from? Like, what if he's just lying and saying he's not his child because he knows it would hurt Annie at this point? At this point, it would hurt Annie. Annie, Mara King, ah, go back again. We move, we move. But, uh uh-uh. uh, what Annie's going through and that thing, that whole, that whole thing that happened at the table where by two people was talking about his beliefs that um, he doesn't believe that a married man can just stay loyal to his woman. He be implicitly said that a married man can't stay focused on their woman and their marriage. There will always be some distractions and they will just let their BP think for them. Basically, that's what he said. Mara King, what can we say? Jigi Jigi, Hubo Bonang, guys. 
but I'm disappointed me. I don't wanna lie. But I do agree with Sumizi. There was a line where Sumizi came up and then he was telling us, guys, there's something that we're not being told here. Okay, we were excited that Banai was gonna be there, but why were just were they just snippets of her on the thing? The only event she came for, which okay, I understand the other one she wasn't invited. Mara, we wanted to see something in her life her doing something in her life same way like we see zara going home to her children and it's fine gay yeah, just them the, themselves hello like, oh, we see andy and the boys going out we need to see more of banang because she was the cover of the whole thumbnail yeah the tree like it but as nothing you, you didn't see banang anywhere except where they went for the painting thing even at the painting thing you could just see her like, she's she's protecting the brand she's protecting the business before anything else okay fine she's in there for the tea she's in there for the drama mara you can just see hello there's a front being put up to say let's protect the brand image no matter what we are protecting the bonang brand i get even from the beginning you could just see that this girl is not gonna fit in i was excited for Bonang to come through even when she introduced herself I, <laughs> i'm a badass wanna girl i i loved it i loved it until she got in the room and it just became awkward she greeted them yes but you could just see that these people are friends they're a clique and she is one that would have to work overtime to fit in with them in with them but i mean that's bonang Mateba. she doesn't need to do that like anyway not to say who are they anyway these are rich people all famous people on the same caliber it's where bonang literally has to come down and then it's a situation whereby bonang should just understand that all of these people are following greatness as a whole but i know that's not what happened so uh, so mizi said on that last video of his was that uh he believes that okay that is seen yaha louise and he and her having an altercation day which basically was her attacking louise is it louish louish because louish is a let me not say it because i'm gonna get in trouble but anyway he's a very good looking gent right he just came from namibia new new cast new member of the young famous and african young famous and african family sure so so is just saying that um that whole scene only happened because hey at the end of the day bonang probably noticed that uh -uh. in as much as a boroto holoda mara she's not gonna fit in or something something in their con in the netflix contract and her was not honored so that scene had to be orchestrated okay maybe it wasn't orchestrated when i did a uh, burst i don't know but i'll leave a screenshot here because she did go in 2016 for an, an appearance so i thought i was gonna have a ton of like i got it can you need to moving on to okay i hated how bonang acted it was just outrageous it was wretched i'm sorry that whole um I've, 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 the word of she basically said that she has effed the red the biggest superstars of africa i was like we don't need to know that like you are the queen okay i personally put her on that pedestal she's perfect in my eyes okay but you don't i don't need to hear that i don't need to hear that from you bro <laughs> she's only human i understand but from a, a big person like that that wasn't the right place or right time for her to be saying such things on international tv like netflix is an, is an international thing so ayo that was messed up that was messed up messed up anyway Moving on to how things just get spicy and spicy and spicier. Fantana and Diamond. Yes. Let's be honest, those guys probably smashed. Like they they did it. Think about it, they did it. They did it. They they did it. There's no doubt they did it. On that time when Fantana went to his house. By the way, can we address Zari and Diamond's baby mama baby daddy relationship like zari feels low-key low-key this is what i think just leave it on the comment below if you agree with me or you don't zari is a bit entitled to diamond's business 
because one thing's for sure if you were looking out for pantana you would just tell her that ayo that guy has a girlfriend okay be aware of that and then fantana goes on to tell you that oh, hey hey look we know what we're doing here i'm a big girl hmm? when he tricks i trick bigger that, that's what she said to him she, zari should have left it there she should have been mature and left it there but no and this thing this is my father's this is the kid the father, the father of my kids my father of my the father of my children it kept on going on and on and on and her just shooting fires firing shots ah, english her firing shots at at, at, at at fantana every time she gets like that time when 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 when, 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 when they went out i can't remember where it is exactly they went out and the first thing she said like all oh, the friends were there she's like oh how is you and diamond going and it's like girl we're not friends like that why are you asking me about my business and then she makes it seem like no the father of my children he's the father of my children of course it's my business bore me again that type of relationship with the ex i believe that diamond was probably going to zari telling her the opposite about Fantana telling her that Fantana is obsessed with me. Yada 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 Fantana this Fantana. I don't even like her like that. But when he goes to Zar when he goes to Fantana, it's that hey, this girl is just so attached to me. I can't she can date whoever she wants, but when I date is an issue. Damon is a dirty ass player. He's a player. It's he lied and i don't like how these girls will make him come 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 to terms with the fact that he lied and he must apologize and he must stop talking about how there's drama nyara, nyara, drama jiggy jiggy and Elena, he brings these baby mamas to the cast like ha huh. okay and now i don't want to lie i don't know sababato i don't know rosette but i was like what are they doing on this show what are they doing on this show i understand bonang left but are they her replacement did they have to find two people to come and replace bonang Okay, I, I understood seeing them in season one because that was for like a family thing, a meeting thing. Jiggy jiggy. They are part of the members. And delay. Obat la se baba to hella sin. Jiggy jiggy. Rosette. And Rosette is so evil. Like, yo. Imagine being in the same family ish kind of thing like that. The whole situation of them sharing a father of their children, a baby daddy. Rosette is vindictive. I don't like her. I don't like her. I don't like her. But I just like her as a person. Like the way she talks. And I just know she's just that petite, nice, nice looking thing. Same with Sababato. But I feel like Andile. Oh, let me fix my mic. I feel like Andile disrespected Sababato. The fact that these people actually didn't know about any of this until when it was launched on the 19th. Kana hora when when Andile kept on going, do I want Rosette or do I want Sababato? That will have to find it. Like, stop acting like a psychologist, my nigga. You can't be the same person, same person who believes in the Idibia family and how love goes through where and where. And then he's the one to be saying, I don't know who to choose from. That was disrespectful. Like, Sababato is such a woman of presence and high caliber. For him to be treating her like that, that was trashy. Very trashy. He did her dirty. But. <laughs> And then there's a whole Nadia and Bonang altercation. I love how they handled it though. That was very mature of them. That was very mature of them. Like none of us needed to know the business. Like there's some things are just better presented, not not presented to you guys, to us as the viewers. Because if it was beef coming from way before the show, then ah, be big girls and no one needs to know. I, I respect privacy more than anything. I respect privacy. I value privacy, so I loved how they handled it. It would have been nice though to have a little drama drama if Bonang had stayed for longer. We would know it would it would have been with Nadia. But DJ guys, you just have to love Naked. Naked was just a romantic nut this season, and I love that about him. And then there's this interview after the whole shooting. He was telling us that you guys probably haven't seen the side of us, but that's how they are. That's how. That's like the more mature, grown version of themselves. And I was like, <laughs> love this for you. Until he had the trial proposal. What do you mean a trial proposal? Can you just mirror the hand, bro? Like, what's happening? Okay, fine. But I do understand from his point of view, where he's coming from that. Look, he's just been through two divorces. 
course he's going to be hesitant so let us not pressure him he will marry kaylee kaylee she just kind of also kaylee is a young lady so she's a young woman i mean she's probably in her 20s and naked is what in his 40s so you need to understand the dynamic that these two people will i love us they are so wait though they just shouldn't rush to marriage because what's his name naked has his own fears anyway the show i should give it a good seven out of ten because it was just too orchestrated for my liking you could just tell that they only selected the scenes whereby there was drama and too much of drama is not nice sometimes you want to see the real love the real friendship the real people you guys can be and the way Kanye all of a sudden just switched up on Annie like no I'm not her friend like you guys were hugging and jumping on each other the first episode last episode was the last episode she's like nah she's acting like she doesn't know who Annie is that was unfair and Bonang for be to be setting up a meeting with Swankies at the moment enemy being Annie and Zari behind his back on her boat cruise and <laughs> nah bro as my friend you shouldn't do that bro like you're gonna you didn't tell Swanky. Swanky was shocked to hear that at the table and for a moment i felt like bonang was ready to get it from Swanky. oh so you were with them when where what on whose boat on your boat make it make sense mara she jumped on to say hey this is what they said this is what they said there was just too much of drama series drama drama, drama. and you can just get unrealistic sometimes which is what i mean by it felt so orchestrated marafela what can i say i, I should just give it a 7 out of 10 overall they maintained the whole lavish part of it the quality of production was good just that i didn't like that whole scene of drama every time every time every time they showcased their outfits the girls were outfits on outfits on outfits on outfits top take or you could see what this girl had a stylist just for the just for today the girlies looked so good all the times and they were consistent about it talk about swanky's fashion style like that guy's a fashion statement a walking fashion statement and i love that about him he stands out about it he embraces it that's thank you for you and over oh, yeah yeah the show was really good it was giving cars lavish money 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 big places big people you know what i mean you know what i'm saying but yeah i hope i've touched on most of the characters main characters the show was a good one but i wish for better next season season three for more reality instead of dramatic reality you get what i mean anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video but yeah otherwise i love the show i love it very very much um i just wish for it to be quite better and better and better every other time i don't know if i'll be doing another recap anytime soon but i uh that's not my mock eh? i just did this specific one because i love the show so so much i love reality i love me a good reality show otherwise um live light learn everything growth yara, yara, i hope you're doing good i hope you're doing fine because mm -hmm, maybe i am no actually i am of recent anyway bye guys i love you so so much let me leave you here hey